Back to the Variant Geek Podcast. I'm Brennan. I'm Zach. And I'm Jason. Happy May the 4th! May the 4th be with you. 4th of May? Oh, oops. (laughs) As I'm sure you guys didn't surmise, we're talking about Star Wars in this episode. Nah. Nope. I'm very excited. That's not what the title means. Star Trek. Very, very excited. My favorite character in Star Wars is Picard. Mine uh, is actually Captain Kirk, but that's I just like me. Spock. That's that's my favorite. And video's over. And, and we just alienated every Star Wars fan. All right. We just oh got no. shot in the face. Essentially. We did. Oh no. Uh, back, kind of going off of the uh, news I shared in the last week's episode. Uh, there's that remake coming out by Asper Media. Sure. I think that's their name. They're sure. uh, they're usually a port company. Um, they've ported uh, like Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast. They're also responsible for the Republic Commando port to the Switch and PlayStation. Uh, I think they also worked on Civ Six. I'm not sure though, so uh, we'll see how well they also ported Kotor One and Two to mobile. Can't um, forgot that happened. So we'll see what they do with uh, the game. I'm pretty sure, I think they might be building it from the ground up. Uh, and I think from what I heard, it might be more like, act, instead of turn-based, it might be like more, probably leaning closer to like Final Fantasy 15 combat, uh, which is like more action-oriented, like you don't have to wait for your opponent to do something. Yay! Which actually might be kind of cool, uh, especially with like the last mission in the Star Forge. Where you're fighting people with lightsabers. I mean, that actually might be kind of cool having like legitimately good lightsaber combat. Um, but yeah, Watch so. Watch be just the biggest letdown on the planet, and Zach just. That's, that's it. That's, that's that, the final that's, nail. That's the final nail. Uh, so, that other than that, I can't really think of any other recent news. Star Wars? <laughs> Star Wars news? Pokemon I mean, Snap! It came out! Oh yeah, that how is it? it? How is it, Jason? Oh, you'll just have to buy it to find out yourself. Oh, you you're gonna be you. that person. I am. That horror movie that I forgot. I already forgot the name of it. Unholy. Unholy was ass. Um, I thought it was okay. No, you didn't. <laughs> it has you were Jeffrey the... Dean Morgan in it. In what? The movie Unholy. The, that we the saw. movie Unholy that we watched on Wednesday at the free movies. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but we'll get right into the episode. Yeah. What's your favorite Star Wars moment, guys? Moment? I'm, it's very basic white girl moment, essentially. Is no! To Star Wars. You turned her against me! No. I don't like You sand. will not take her from me! You did that yourself. I don't like sand. You have done that yourself! It's oh, and it gets everywhere. I the Battle of Heroes is no, so great. You're my father. Wait, no, I'm your father. No, no, Luke. He doesn't uh, say that. I know. Thank you. Obviously, the dual fates that were but, uh, that we sang in choir was. How did that go, by the way? Not so what'd you think of that, Jason? Yeah, what'd you think? How did we do? It was as good as I was expecting it to be. Oh. I uh, take that, Doctor D. Was <laughs> just as good as Dakota Wesleyan's choir could be. Wow, that's mean. No, it's not. It's being truthful. <laughs> Oof, dang. We just need good bases. Who said that? <laughs> not well, the bass in the room. I'm playing Excuse me, I'm a soprano. I'm when a meso soprano. You can sing bass. <laughs> that, that's coming out. I really like that we're like not even talking about Star Wars now. We're talking about singing. Woo-hoo. What dual fates that moment, especially the fight choreo, especially once you got once you taught me how to do quarter staff, like having that basic understanding of it, yeah, and going back and watching that Darth Maul fight, it's, it's quarter staff. It's quarter really staff. really fun to see and watch. You're like, I can do that. Maybe not the flips, but I can do everything else. So Darth Maul, when he stands there and he's got the lightsaber, and the one side goes out, and then. Half a second later, the other side goes out, and all the trombones and the orchestra going. Bah! Oh yeah, John Williams is like uh, nice and calm, and then Darth Maul appears. He's like, "Go, <laughs> trombones! We need you." But I mean, God, 
I love Star Wars so so much. No, you don't. I oh, would have never. Right. I love the Duel of the Fates moment too, because so it it literally is the catalyst for everything that is to come. They let me down in episode nine because they said they're going to use it, and then kind of did. But it was that stupid fight on the ship with the water, and Finn is like Ray, and one of his six lines he ever says. Ray Ray is like ignoring him, and he's like Ray. And then she pushes him away. And then she magically learns force healing. <laughs> she really the thing that literally would have kept Anakin from not going to the dark side, she learned it on the spot. Like, oh yeah, by the way, I just have this power. You're not dead anymore. Maybe if Anakin were related to... <clears throat> <clears throat> that was also dumb. Then maybe <laughs> he could have force healed. We'll get into that when we talk about... Bad movie sequels. The sequels are crap. Never watch them. I literally will never watch them on my free time ever again. No, like my family and I over COVID, we watched, or actually, it might have been over Christmas. We rewatched the Star Wars movies, other than because my my dad. Really, your dad's one of those. The prequel shock. Yeah, um, but we watched. Your dad was around when the originals came exactly. Out. So he's like, he's like, I was there. I saw it in the theaters. I saw it happen. We rewatched episodes one through six, minus um, Rogue One and Solo, and we stopped there because I was not watching the sequels again. Those yeah. are the story is so bad they don't care about the characters. What are you it's talking just, about? <sighs> but I, uh, a game I actually kind of want to play, but after watching, I think it was Zanny play it. I'm like, that looks like a janky mess. Is Star Wars Bounty Hunter. It's so good. I love that game. The amount of times I saw him just jetpack and then just die. I'm like, <laughs> That's because he's hmm. trash. Alright, he's garbage. And also that jailbreak scene. The fact that he quit the game there where everyone quits the game. Yeah. Yes. Jailbreak scene. There's a... So the, the whole point, if I remember correctly, is you're going to bust someone out of prison. I don't Listen really remember scene. why. But Zam Wessel beats you there. Anyway, anyway, Isn't that, uh, yes, it's the shapeshifter. Yes, it's how they end up meeting. Anyway, um, it's just it's just a cluster f because like you incite a riot because when they when Zam gets the other person, she like goes boop and all the cells open. So not and it, it's the best part is like you walk into a room where like the guards and the prisoners are fighting and then they all go. Hey, and they all attack you. They, they, the, the guards are like, you know what? Screw this mess. We're gonna kill this guy that just walked in. We don't know him, but coming in is different this than them leaving. Everyone else can leave, but him coming in, no. <laughs> it's just, it was so frustrating. Cause like you, <clears throat> if you die a certain amount of times, the entire level starts over, not just from checkpoints. Really? Yes. Ugh. So like, you get to the end. And then you turn a corner and there's a rocket pod, like, hee hee! And then there goes your last life. Hee hee! And you're dead. And you restart, and that's, you learn from your mistakes. No, you don't. You cry. Because it just gets frustrating. It's, it's so good, though. I think I still have it somewhere in my house. I think I do. If they, see, if someone ported that game to Switch, I'd play it again on Switch. But, because otherwise I can just play it on either Wii or GameCube. Wee! My GameCube got stolen when I was like, 10 or 11, by the way, fun fact. From who? Oh, someone broke into our storage unit. They took, like, all of my stuff. Nice. In the words oh, of my mother, know. in the words of my mother, yeah, Brennan got hit the hardest. Don't really know why, but I'm like, gosh dang, these people having an overweight 11-year-old <laughs> stealing all my things. Because they took, like, all my clothes. And I was like, hey, bro. <laughs> overweight 11-year-old. It fits an, a, an adult of mid medium size. Hey. But anyway, what is the video game Battlefront Two? Which one? Which one? The one on the PS Two, or the newer one? PS Two. Okay. Okay. Was it on the Xbox as well? Yes. Yes. I think we had it on the Xbox, the original Xbox. Old. And I remember playing like like it was, you go. It's like Sith versus Jedi. The heroes, were, yeah. Heroes and versus you villains. You play a Mos Eisley. Yes. That was one of the funnest things we ever did. It takes so long. But that was so much fun. <laughs> that was one of the few, just, yeah. You roll in and you're just like, hee 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 because you're fighting droids and you're like, hee 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 hee, as Yoda. I'm a, I'm a green frog on ketamine. 
That was one of the few games that my sister and I actually played together. We just used to just play Heroes vs. Villains all the time. And I also remember when we started playing Battlefront 2 when it came out for free. Um, yeah. And the amount of times I would piss you off playing the Droidica. My god! He'd be like, Droidica spam. And I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. Because <laughs> the Droidica was broken right. still is. in Battlefront. It's not as broken in the newer one. Like, it's still... Oh, I mean, still is in Battlefront 2. Never got fixed. Oh, well, yeah. But in the newer one, it's... It's a little bit better, just because you have different classes, that, like, you have more options. Mm -hmm. um, but that OG one will always honestly be better. Because I also, one thing I really miss was you being able to fly in space and then land on the other person's ship, go inside, and then destroy the ship from the inside. That, that was always fun. Correct. And they removed it. They took it from Better. us. They took it from they me. They took it specifically from you. From, they said Zachary. They said, ew. Yeah, they're like, that Zach guy. We're taking that away from him. He likes it too much. Can't said, have him oh. being happy. Yikes, that's cringe. But have you played Jedi The Fallen Order? Yes. Yeah, I played it and Twice. beat it, and I'm really sad that I... I almost beat it on the second hardest difficulty, but except the last, like kind of mob fight they fight before the end of the game <coughs> i was it's like right uh, before the <coughs> spoiler uh, character they, that arrives. okay they they literally showed it in the trailer for okay. thanksgiving and that's uh respawn was not happy because they're like the heck ea but it ea went. is like heck um in case you guys didn't know you don't need to know <laughs> watch the trailer <laughs> yeah watch our watch our live stream Anyways, uh, what? <laughs> Brendan and I just gave each other a look of. What are you what? talking about? I'm mumbling nonsense. Yeah, I'm on them. Right. I'm on them glow sticks. Death sticks. Hey, wanna buy yeah. some death sticks? You want to go home and rethink your life? I want to go home and rethink, rethink my that. life. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, yeah, I did play it. It's actually it's it's a decent amount of fun. Um, it, it's not as much fun for a replay. Correct, because you, once you know what you're doing... Yeah. How about you? What is your favorite of the Jedi Fallen Order? So, well, <laughs> the first one. Um, no. Um, <laughs> I... Moment. The, the, Momentum. Oh, favorite moment in the game? What is your... Uh, what are your thoughts on that Vigia game? I think my favorite moment in the entire game, spoiler alert, is when <laughs> Vader go, <gasps> You have failed me, Inquisitor. <laughs> Kills her. Yes. I was like, dang, homie, you murdered her. You murdered her. Murdered you killed her children. Anyway, um, what? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just staring. I'm watching you. I think the reason, I, the, the problem with the lack of replayability is in the abilities. Mm -hmm. Because you get so used to, towards the end of the game, using all these different abilities, and then you go back to the beginning and it's like, you can hit the sable once. Like, you can yeah. be like, womp! You can't That's even, about like, it. double jump. Mm -hmm. You can't, yeah. can't do a lot wall of stuff. Run, it's wall like, run. Titanfall 2. It's like, neat. I mean, I I hope they improve upon it, make it a bit more open world, because I'm, I'm still I, looking forward to that Ubisoft game. Ubisoft! That's going to be open world. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that. Um, obviously, uh, in addition to that game, uh, and Star Wars video, like, um, before EA took hold of it, because EA didn't really do anything with the license, they made two Battlefront games, Fallen Order, and Squadrons, and that's about I it. I want to play Squadrons more, but our internet's poop here. Yeah. I actually had a lot of fun playing that when we it played was, it over Christmas break. It was more fun than I was expecting it to be. It was just so cool to be like, I need pilot, yee <laughs> Uh, you had Republic Commando. Woo! Which just got that port. Uh, you had um, Kotor, obviously, phenomenal game. Ten out of ten. Would recommend Kotor two. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. You know when you say ten out of ten, people are like, "What?" Nine point eight out of ten. Okay. Where? What's the point eight? What's the point two that you don't like? Uh, Obsidian didn't finish it because they were rushed. <laughs> Couldn't be, uh... Couldn't be. Couldn't be CD Projekt Red. Oof. Uh, 
other game you had the Lego Star Wars games, which are always a blast. They're so much fun to play. I don't really like the new ones. I'm I'm excited to see Skywalker Star when it finally comes out. <laughs> it's supposed to come out like almost a year and a half to years. Yes. Ago. And like the game is done. Let me play it. I just want to play. I want to play my updated graphic. Updated graphics Dual where fits. it's they get rid of they get rid of dialogue. you know the dialogue and it's back to the huh? Uh-huh. 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 Anyway. Uh-huh. I mean, what about spending $2000 on Legos? That is what's stupid about it in my opinion. Legos. The fact that you actually have to like buy sets to get certain characters or ships. Like that's going to create like a black market of codes on eBay. Oh yeah. Easily. Uh, I'm going to still buy a Razor Crest though, gosh darn it. Do it. Fair mm-hmm. enough, I'm in mood. I need to buy it soon because it'll be DC'd pretty soon, I guarantee it. Um, gosh dang it, why am I... Uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Pretty good. I played that. And Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. <laughs> I played that. Uh, kind of want to play those again. I think I have Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy on my... Uh, I think I got it for free. It do- doesn't hold up as well. I mean, go figure. It's it's old. I want a Star Wars Death Troopers horror game. That would be kind of fun. Um, and then going into uh, TV shows, they had The Mandalorian, Ooh. which was a lot of fun. I cried like a baby at the really? uh, Why you cried like series a baby, finale. Here we go. Um, series finale? Not series. Season finale. Season two finale. When... Spoiler character. Alert. Yeah, and he's like, character, I cried. And character did and character like, oh. and did this with the character and the child with Pedro Pascal. I think one of my qualms with season two was Pedro Pascal. You see his face in like every episode. No, you don't. You see it uh, with in the episode with Bill Burr when they're troopers, yeah. and then he's the only other person that's actually that's alive that's seen his face. And you see it at the end because he's like, okay, he this, this is helmet off yeah, for, the, for the child. This is what Grogu means to me. He is my family. Like they have that relationship. I will never take my helmet and off. And I'm like, oh Takes my his God. And then we, we get to see Luke's. Well, I already spoiled it. Luke I mean, Skywalker. It's been, it's been, out, it's for been out for a while. And like spoilers are everywhere. Luke Skywalker actually do really cool things. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like. Wow, and then we saw Ahsoka Tano in season two as well, and that was really cool to see. I think it was. I really do think it was good, um, from animation to live. Yeah. Oh yeah. Adaptation. I think it. I think they did it well. It held up. Oh, they did a great Rosario job. Rosario Dawson did a, a phenomenal plus. job. A plus. Um, I'm giving you a plum. <laughs> Mandalor- <laughs> Mandalorian season one was also really good. Uh, you got to see the dark saber at the end with. Grandma Gideon, and that was kind of cool. I thought you said Grandma Gideon, and I went, Gideon? Grandma Gideon? Get over here, Grandma Gideon. You had the Clone Wars, which is especially season eight. Um, Is that the newest season? Seven? Eight. Seven? Eight. What are the two? Oh, God. I don't (sighs) know. Seven. It's seven. It's seven. In season seven... The fight between Ahsoka and Darth Maul was really, really impressive to see because it's all mo capped. Yeah. Uh, and Who Ray plays Park. Darth Maul? Ray Park. Wait, is it Ray Park or Jim Park? It, yeah, he does the mo capping for him. Okay. Uh, Sam Witwer? Yeah. Is the voice, but uh, Ray Park does the mo cap for him again. And Ugh. he still is does he limber the, and. Does he have the spider legs at this point? It, in season seven? No, he. I mean, he has robot legs, but the spider legs were gone after like three, four episodes. Oh, okay. When it showed up. When I when I remember watching that show, I went, <gasps> "Darth Maul have spider." Uh, Does he have normal legs again? Didn't no, he like gets season cut seven, in half. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Like, no, didn't but, the night sister be like? Oh, yeah, she gave him normal and he legs. He has normal legs again. Yeah, he just yeah. said he has robot. Legs. I have not but, seen season seven. Oh no, no, so. he has like normal robot legs. He doesn't have normal normal legs. He has robot legs still. It's like Mortal Kombat when the guy's like trying to lift the rock yeah. and he uh, me so um. man gets muscles. Get yeah. robo muscles. Robo muscles. Today, Bad Batch comes out. I'm excited to oh. watch that. First episode is an hour long. Cap. Uh, Echo is now part of the crew. That should be really fun to see. Um, 
you have a lot more Star Wars projects in the work. Boba Fett's getting his own series where he's um, the head of the underworld as he took Jabba's pl actually Jabba was already dead. He took oh what's his name? It starts with the B? Are you doing an F then? Oh, Bib Fortuna. Bib Sorry. Fortuna. I, I yeah. zoned out. I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, Bib Fortuna. Who got yeah. murked? Yeah, he, he just shows up. He's like, I'm, I'm sorry. And then Boba's like, boom. And then it's like, ooh. And now he has his own series. Which, because of the Boba Fett series, we're not getting the Mando season three until 2022. Sounds about right. Which, that's okay. I, I'm really excited for this Boba Fett series. I'm glad they got Tamora Morrison to do it again. Um, he said, Kiora! I'm excited for the kind of newer, like, Star Wars Acolyte, which focuses focuses on a um, dark system. side user. That should be kind of interesting. I think it takes place between episodes three and four, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. Uh, but you guys have anything you want to add to Star Wars? Yeah. I enjoyed Rogue <clears throat> One. I enjoyed the Boba Fett book series. It is literally it takes place. It's him after his papa go of uh, baba. Papa, baba. Not actually not in the beginning. The beginning he's on Camino. I don't really remember. I read it when I was like six, so mm -hmm. I don't really remember. So it's not technically it's not canon because you know it's that pre twenty what fourteen? Sure. When what is Disney it? Disney bought. Well, it's wh whatever. It's twenty thirteen. All, all the books and comics post a certain year are canon now. I think it's 2013. It's whenever Disney bought Lucas. Right. Um, they bought Lucas? Yeah, they bought his whole persons. I can't do that anymore. Uh, but yeah, because um, that was kind of sad because there are so, so many cool characters in Star Wars that are now legends like Darth Revan and Malak and from the KOTOR, and from the, uh, the Old Republic era. Karth. Uh, Karth that you guys killed in our D&D &D campaign. <laughs> Maybe come up with your own ideas. I eventually did. You literally ripped off Dark Soul. No, uh, no Dead I Space. Didn't. Dead Space. You ripped off Dead Space. For like part of a session. You said We said come up with your own ideas and you said Dead Space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my own idea. I put, They paid me money for this. Do you know how many ideas there are out there? It's hard to come up with your own ideas. At least two. There are at least two. Um... Darth Bane, who is canon-ish now because um, of Clone Wars, but he came up with the Rule of Two, and I have that on a hoodie. Uh, you do? I've two, never seen you wear yeah, it. And I, it has the Sith code on the back. Without um, pleasure, there is no pain. That's <laughs> not it. <laughs> what? Don't do the Sith code. It doesn't matter. People can look it up on your own time. It'll be homework for you listeners. Um... Star Wars Legos are awesome. Still. Yeah, I got a Boba Fett Lego helmet for Christmas. That's in my room now. Um, I have my Darth Revan Funko Pop, which is one of my most treasured Funko Pops. You're welcome. Guess who's going to find it? <laughs> Guess who's going to find it and steal it? I swear it? to God, I will kill you. Garbage. You're welcome. Thank you. Did you we buy were, it for him? No, we were at GameStop. We were at GameStop. I saw it and I grabbed it. And I had it. And then he but went, then I gave it to him. He looks at me. He's like, "But, but you got the, got the statue at the Walmart." And I'm like, "That's okay." You, you, know, you know what Darth Revan means to me. Okay. The amount of papers and presentations I have done on okay, Star Wars. Okay. The fact that you say the amount of and it's more than one means too many. Excuse you. It's stuff I like. We were, I was able to write about it, and like I was able to, like. For my presentation for speech, my freshman year, it was like, give some kind of presentation, I don't remember, and I literally just talked about the canon versus non-canon in Star Wars, and I went like 15 minutes over what I was supposed to, Your and I got mates. taken off once. Your poor classmates. Your classmates really said. They really said, this man. At least I was passionate about what I was presenting about. I guarantee you this is how the presentation went. 
So in Knights of the Old Republic, Darth Revan. That is not how it went. Thank you. As for comp, I literally wrote a present. I wrote a, like a twelve-page paper on Star Wars. Uh, I've he's writing a he's writing a Star Wars novel. A short he's, story. He's is one chapter into a short story. I'm twenty pages in that I'm going to completely scrap because it's. I want to read it. Bad. Brennan has it. I do. Um. Why are you looking at him like that? You weren't in the room anymore when he was sending it. Your eyes look very infected right now. Baby girl. What? <laughs> uh, who would you guys say is your favorite Star Wars character? Harry Potter. Wait! Harry oh, Potter. you just got more ads. I got more ads. We'll go, we'll go canon. Zach, who's yours, first off? I mean, you have... Our Lord and Savior Obi Wan Kenobi, basic Jar Jar Ewan, Binks, Ewan McGregor, Jar, Darth Jar Jar. I'm still a Darth Jar Jar stand. That's what should have happened. Who said that? I think George Lucas said he had. It was supposed plans. to be. He was supposed to be. Jar Jar was the key to all of this. That's what he said. He knew. I mean, you look at his eyes. You look at Anakin and Palpatine's eyes. They have the same eyes. Have you ever seen that? No, I have. Okay, I was like, have you not seen that uh, Darth Jar Jar? I would say, um, gosh, I do like fives a lot. Rip. Well, sixes. Rip. Um, Rex. Rex is a good character. Echo. Secret tunnel. Echo! Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Oh, gosh. Like, I do like a lot of the clones. Um, it's almost like you like the clone characters. Do you like Fett? Boba Fett is pretty cool. Django. Django Fett is also Django. 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 Fett. Django Boba Fett. Granted, Boba Fett's gotten a lot more screen time and a lot more character development than Django has. What? I'll buy a what? lot. Hello there. But uh, yeah, exactly. one of my favorite villains is. I'm said Count Dooku. No. Um, Darth Pajamas. Darth <laughs> Pajamas. No. Um, General Grievous. That was, that's my mom's favorite, too. She loves General Grievous. I just like that he got expanded Grievous. upon and got, like, what he deserved oh, yeah. treatment-wise in the Clone Wars. Because, like, he's seen for, like, six seconds mm -hmm. in the movies. And it's like, yo, this guy is cool. And then he dies. Um, Brennan, what is your favorite Star Wars character? <sighs> or villain? It's so hard for me to pick a favorite. I mean, Clone 99, the Sacrifice. Sad day. Um, probably Django Fett. Really? Yes. Well, again, like having played through the Bounty Hunter game, reading books, growing up with it, I just I like the character. I like the the, the idea of the character. That's Cad Bane. Cad Bane was. Cad Bane sucks. I hate him. Every time he was on the screen, I was like, die. Die, you stupid Duros. Die. Uh, Isn't it? Non-canon, non, non I love HK-47. Yeah? That's a little basic for that. But <laughs> that's, HK, just, that's just AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> HK is such... He's just so uh, fun. Okay, ooh. R2-D2. Oh yeah, I mean, man, man I'll be cussing dead. the whole time. Everything. Oh yeah, he's they like, they literally <laughs> blurted out every single word that he said, so you know that man's spitting fire. <laughs> he's like, I, I can't say it, but I mean, he's swearing every time. They're like, R two, we need you. He's like, C three PO going, C three PO going like, oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, I do. <laughs> You do? Why do you guys give me looks after every time I do something? <laughs> That's exactly why. Would you? I do. Uh, I, I do. do really like, um, like, Darth Nihilus, uh, who's really cool. Uh, Darth Sion is really cool. I'm, I'm just going to stop. What? We were, talk we were communicating about when food opens. Nothing about you. Literally, I was asking if the cap opened at five or six. He, he, man did, man did six. Nom, nom, nom. And, and I he went, said five. 
five. And I'm like, oh, five. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> it was so was five thirty. Nom, nom, nom. No, five. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, fight. Well, okay, what is your favorite fight <laughs> scene? Fight. Till you drop. <laughs> what is your favorite fight scene in Star Wars? <sighs> I don't know. I enjoy the, uh... Zach's offended. By what? That we don't know. Oh, I, on, mean, like, I enjoy the scene in 5. At the end with Luke against Vader? Yes, or? when Luke loses his hand. I yeah. just, ah! just the... Ah! And, no, I'm your father. And he goes, ah! Literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible! What does that mean? Mark Hamill going, it's impossible! <laughs> While it's not as flashy as the prequels, the fights in the originals are still great. Because I think they're based off European fencing. Yeah. And then uh, the prequels are based off of Eastern martial arts. And then the sequels are just... Are garbage. Yeah. (laughs) I have lung cancer. (laughs) (laughs) I have testicular. Oh my god. (laughs) Time for the finisher. Pancreatic! Stop. Why do they keep changing lightsabers? <laughs> no, it's fighting styles. No, well, he went from this <laughs> oh, the cut. to this <laughs> to this. It's three different characters. <laughs> they have different fighting styles. Exactly. I like, um... Ooh. Technically, it's a cutscene fight, and it's in uh, Swolder. Swolder. Oh. Oh, okay. I really, really, really like the cutscene fight where... The two Sith, they say, crash ship into the oh, public ship when they come out. Yeah. <laughs> and like Airbud Dash. See, I like that a lot. I like. Oh no! I like the one with the brothers. Oh. In the like the um. Yeah. I can't remember the I names. I know. Uh, I don't remember the names either. Tell us the names in the comments, because uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, well, yeah, the two brothers that are the sons of uh, Darth Vitiot. Mm-hmm. I haven't played much of Swoder, but I know I know what you're talking about. That, that I really scene. like that because like I was like, oh, this is a cool cutscene. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I mean, he did. I do like a lot of the fight scenes and cutscenes in Swoder. Um, I wish we had a game that was actually like kind of like those fight scenes, like that pretty, that kind of con- like it's just so. Good. That's why I even feel like even those cutscenes are ten times better than the sequels. sequels. Yeah. Tell me how you really feel about the sequel, Zachary. Garbage. 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 Um, I mean, I, I see that all the time in, like, online, like, live, on live service games. Where, like, you watch the cutscene and you're like, nut. Like, with World of Warcraft. And then you play the game and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, okay. I will say this. If you like the sequels, good for you. But you're wrong. In my opinion, in our opinion, they're bad. Our opinion? Jason's sitting here like, I haven't watched them. The garbage. Jason said, I've been Story. told they're garbage, so I haven't spent the time. Story bad. Characters bad. Plot bad. Fighting bad. Acting? Acting bad. bad. Excuse you. Did you hear about, okay. did you hear about what Adam happened Driver to Adam Driver? It. Yeah, his back. Did think you he hear? He had to go to the you, hospital, didn't he? Yeah. For yeah. his back? Yeah. Did you not hear about that? <laughs> From carrying the sequels? Yes. <laughs> he, I was like, wait, what? Oh, he I definitely know. improved. Because uh, oh. seven, he was just really whiny. And then he, he got You're not my real bit dad, but I am. But you're not my real dad. Shit. Honestly, the oh my gosh. They... My favorite interview oh. moment with any of Star Wars. So who shot first? You or Greedo? I don't care. <laughs> I like the Harrison Ford wanted to be done after the first. I like movie. yeah. Well, I like the Harrison Ford where Chewbacca's like in the audience. It's like it's yeah, like yeah, Jimmy Fallon or something. He's like you son of you slept with my wife. Yeah, <laughs> like he wanted to be done with the first one, and everybody's like, oh my god, I love your character. And then George Lucas is like, well, you're they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna kill him in the second, and, and then, uh, then he came back for the third. How do you him. feel about... How do you think your death impacts the series? I don't really care. I'm just glad to be done. I have every interview with that man not caring at all is hilarious. Uh, I love the fight scene, obviously, between Anakin and Obi-Wan. You're not my real dad. That's obviously a classic. 
I'll battle even, of Heroes, like I said. I will even loop in a bit of Battle of the Heroes under us talking right now. Um, uh, okay, like just let's hum the song. Da, 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 da. Ta-da! That's one thing I really like is the callback to that's Duel of the Fates. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's in Battle of Heroes every now and then. Like, there's slight choral callbacks to it because mm-hmm. it's like the catalyst of like mm-hmm. the... Mm-hmm. Whoa. It's almost like that's how... <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. It's almost like John Williams said, let me just do the best real quick. Let me just be the best. Power Shore, am I a joke to you? da 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 about, Surprise! Uh, we haven't gotten copyright strict yet. Because we're singing it. <laughs> no, like he put in um, weeks I mean, ago. Okay. Because oh, okay. so I was watching high. a video today, and they literally just like I even went into the description to see if they like cited it or anything, and they had audio from multiple different video games and movies. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Do no wrong, Zachary. Um, but overall, Star Wars. Amazing, amazing <laughs> franchise. Overall, Star Wars, but good. Star good. Wars, eh, I, I love, love I love it. It's cool. phenomenal. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the movies or the shows, watch them. They're all on Disney Plus. Stop being those people that are like, I haven't watched them yet, and I'm gonna hold on to that. You're not cool. No one I'm thinks sorry. you're cool. Gosh, Jason. The one oh. thing I will say before we end it is. As much as, like, as amazing as Star Wars is, as amazing it is, Star you can Trek have... Is, <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? No. Star Trek sucks. It's, I don't know what you're talking about. It's the first interracial kiss. It's really sad how toxic the community can be. Eh, everything's toxic and gross nowadays. I mean, true. Because, I mean, it ruined Hayden Christensen's career. Jake because Lloyd. Because of how upset Rick people were. He's not dead, but... Even yeah. though Hayden Christensen did the best he had. With, He's coming back. He is back coming back. He's God coming back bless. for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. God bless. Which I almost guarantee that like that um, series opener is going to have a lot of viewers because everybody's going to be excited. Like, oh my God, A, Ewan McGregor. B, Obi-Wan Kenobi again. C, Hayden Christensen is Darth Vader because everybody's starting to like him now. But here's the thing. Ewan McGregor... I enjoy him as an actor. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he's like he's outside of Star Wars. He is a really good actor. Um, it's actually, <laughs> I think one of my favorite interview moments is uh, him on. Is it Ed Norton? Uh, with what? Uh, th- that British Graham Norton. Graham, Graham. Norton. Uh, and he's like, he picked up his like kid. Him. He picked up his kid, and they're driving, and they stop. Oh. <laughs> and Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's just, I, I love Hugh McGregor so much. I will look, I, like, he's one of those few actors that I will watch something just because he's in it. Moulin Rouge. Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey was okay. Okay, Didn't granted. like it enough to buy merchandise, but then I bought, uh... Hugh McGregor. Salonis. Yeah. Salonis. Black Skull. Yeah. That's Black Mask? Black it's, Mask. It's, I had, didn't yeah. see it, so... Uh, granted, I haven't seen Christopher Robin, but... Ooh, that's, that's a good movie. Uh, Jason's just over here like, wholesome, wholesome movie. And then, I think they got Liam Neeson to reprise his role as qui oh. Jin really? in the series as well, as probably a Love horse Liam ghost. Neeson, too. That man's uh, been through some hardships and survived. Mm-hmm. He'll finally be doing something that's not the same movie over and over and over Taken, again. Taken 5, The Takening. Taken 5, The Takening. But, well, well overall, uh, let us know in the comments what your favorite things about Star Wars are. Tell us how you feel about Star Wars. Tell me if you've read the Death Troopers book. I gotta know if I'm the only one. You probably are. Uh, and let us know if you're excited for some of the upcoming stuff that's coming out in the Star Wars universe. I think there's a lot to look forward to. Um, but thank you guys for listening. Make sure you turn into our Twitch channels uh, at Shepard6 and at ForrestallCash014. And, and at Gmail, whatever you are. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Twitch. You I do, do but I don't use it for Twitching. And <laughs> we... Tune into our Twitch streams that we don't do. And we hope you guys... 
Enjoy the podcast and have a good rest of your week. Happy Fourth! Happy May the Fourth! Happy May the Fourth! And may also, it be with you. And also enjoy with you. your revenge of the fifth.